We're going to talk today about um, joints and veins. So what is a what are these? These are planar cracks. with no or, or very small shear displacement. So um, yeah, these are pretty much any, any rocks, any rock outcrop that you find will have um, the joints or veins. Um, they're just, they're basically just cracks um, where there's not very, where there's very little, um, you know, the things that were on either side of it, they're not faults or they, there hasn't been much motion. Um, so these are ubiquitous, it means that they're all over the place, ubiquitous in rocks. And they often occur in parallel sets. And one more, one more uh, sort of bullet point here. Uh, the planar surface um, of a joint or a vein is often perpendicular to the least of the principal stresses. So if, you know, if, if this is what the, the joint looks like, we can be pretty, pretty confident usually that's the sigma three direction. The causes so, so several different causes um, contraction of an igneous body during cooling this forms um, what we call columnar jointing. And we'll see some um, pictures of these things. Uh, another, another cause would be, uh, this is probably the most common, release of pressure due to erosion. And finally, um, forces due to plate tectonics. Let's call these tectonic joints. Um, and why do we care about these importance? So for one thing, they facilitate weathering of rocks. So they're cracks. Um, and wa so water, uh, water will, oops, rock. Water will um, infiltrate along the joints, and that's where, uh, you know, most the, the chemical reactions involved in the weathering process will occur, um, preferentially. 
So there are also, you know, other, other geologic fluids will also move along joints. So they provide conduits for mineral deposition. And so when we start talking about depositing um, minerals, um, these are, this is, we call them veins in this case. So a, a joint is just a crack, and if it start, if it fills in with something, um, we call it a vein. And they influence the strength of rocks. So this, um, and this has a lot of sort of engineering type applications or importances. Um, you know, a, a, a small sample of a rock may, you know, have have some some qualities. But when you look at the larger scale, um, you know, hillside, um, if it if it in, almost inevitably does have um, a bunch of these joints in it and cracks, um, then it's going to be a lot less strong than the sort of un um, in the areas that aren't.